What's going on boys? Quinn 69 here. I'm not gonna ask how you guys are doing because I'm pissed. I'm salty right now. And we're gonna be talking about some of the new items that Blizzard are now implementing that could potentially ruin the fun of itemization. It could really just screw up the game and just remove all aspect of choice and decision making out of the game when it comes to itemizing your character's gear. What I have here is a Turrican's Gaze. What it does is it says Wave of Light is now cast at your enemy. So Wave of Light now, okay, it's melee range. I equip this helmet and then we get the brilliant utility of having a ranged Wave of Light. Nothing new. Except for the fact that they decided to put wave of light damage is now increased by 150% Okay, so now you might be asking well, I like damage. I like to have you know free 150% increased wave of light damage Why why is that a bad thing? Okay, because what this now does is you don't put the helmet on because you want to choose the utility of having a ranged wave of light you now put this helmet on because you are retarded if you put anything else on except for this helmet if you're using wave of light on your bars because you know it's 150 percent increased damage to any wave of light ability so now you the, the the element of choice is now removed that item is just automatically locked out the second you're going wave of light you have to use this helmet so they may as well just bake that rune in to default every single wave of light rune if they're going to do it like that because there's no element of choice anymore it's now been taken away and on top of that to use this helmet this forces us to equip a, a Ring of Royal Grandeur, and B, it means now we don't have any other choice. If I wanted to use a Hellfire Amulet, I can't. It's now because it's been used up by this helmet, which just, um, which I might be using for the ranged utility, you never know. That'd be awesome. But, we're, let's be honest here, everyone's going to be forced to use it now because of the 150% increased damage. And this is not just this one item. I have a bunch of items. I have a bunch of scenarios. Like, for another example, Kiana Nakashu. Happens with all of some Wuku helmets, unfortunately, here. Yeah. So, like, okay, Yana Nakashu used to be one of the coolest helmets in the game. It was really awesome until they, you know, started increasing the scaling of all the sets and stuff. And then this, the secondary proc just became useless. Obviously, the secondary proc is awesome. It's a cool utility. It just needs to be revamped and people will like it again. Don't just put 100% LTK damage on the goddamn helmet because now what this does, we don't have a choice. If you want to play with Lashing Tail Kick, if you want to play with a skill, then you have to use this goddamn helmet. Now what this does is, it locks out your Ring of Royal Grandeur again. It forces you to use nothing else but 5 piece on Wuko and this helmet. And what do you get out of it? A, a fireball that does nothing, and a, apparently it doesn't work. Okay, there we go, the fireball goddamn went out that time. A fireball that does nothing, and some passive damage increase. And this doesn't just apply to monk helmets. Have a look at this. So balance, this is a new item they added into the game. When your Tempest Rush hits three of your enemies, it gains 100% crit hit chance, which is a brilliant item. Spot on, Blizzard, you did well. You fixed a problem where Tempest Rush couldn't do single target damage, and it's really fun, kind of cool utility when you actually see it happening. But then they went and screwed up the item by buffing Tempest Rush damage by 200% when you have this equipped. Because now, there is literally no choice. It is choices just being deleted or removed from the game. And it now is a... You, you are forced to use this. If you have Tempest Rush on your bars, then you have to use balance. Like, for example, if I was trying to make a, you know, a T10 speed build, where single target really wasn't required, and I wanted to use another setup, say I wanted to equip, you know, the new Istvan's Blades uh, setup here, I can't do it with Tempest Rush, because now I'm, I've lost my 200% passive damage. Because say I wanted to use these two, but have the 100% crit for like killing bosses, I can't do it because I don't have the damage bonus. It's now locked out. It is now that choice is now removed, and I am forced into using this goddamn Diabo. And the list just goes on. Um, like Inner's Diabo, for example. If you want to use Mystic Ally damage, then you have to have an Inner's Diabo because it doubles the damage of your Mystic Allies. Say you want to use six sets Inner's, right, and have the Mystic Allies doing tons of damage while you use, like, I don't know, whatever, a Furnace using whatever, a Flying Dragon, whatever you wanted, say. Okay, you cannot do that. If you want your Mystic Allies to function and actually do damage, then you are forced to equip this weapon. And it's just passively there. It, it, the choice is removed. And it just go the list goes on and on. Where Blizzard are just like getting these awesome items. Sweeping Wind gains 2. Okay, we just talked about this. This is actually not the best secondary effect. It needs to be changed. But for example, 
the orange text is great. It's a cool utility. It could be buffed a little bit. Don't get me wrong. Fingers crossed they do that. But the sweeping wind damage is increased by 125%. So now if I want to make any sweeping wind build, I have to simply put this on, even if I don't want the utility, just because the damage bonus is there. This problem is happening to all classes. It is not just monks. They're adding in a bunch of new items that all have these passive damage increases. It's effectively like hot fixing skills that are underperforming um, but whilst removing all elements of choice when they should just be buffing the base skill itself and not just baking it into damn items and removing all of our choice let's give you guys some examples of some really good items that they've made in the past and some new ones that are actually pretty damn good so reapers wraps health globes restore up to 30 percent of your primary resource whenever you pick them up this is awesome it doesn't like overbuff a single skill or anything and you don't you're not forced to use it for certain builds it's a really great item gundo gears exploding palms on death explosion implies exploding palm okay so this doesn't just straight up buff ep damage so you're not forced to use this by any means like there's builds that Yulia like yulianas for example you can run easily run without these it's not mandatory if they were then to go oh let's just put I've got a good idea, let's buff EP, let's put like 5,000% exploding palm damage on these braces. Okay, then it would become mandatory for you to use this item. This is a great item, awesome utility, not mandatory to use. Madstone, same deal. It just gives you awesome utility to 7 Siders Drake, and it's not necessarily required. Lyrics Crown, you can use this in so many different ways. It gives you CDR, life percent, experience, whatever. Um, you know, Aquilius Curtress. So this, this is a really awesome one. They've just added this in. This is a great example of a new item that's got a cool idea and it functions really well. So when you're playing a build, so while above a certain amount of resource, all damage you're taking is reduced by 50%. So if you know you're playing a build that's not going to be spending a lot of resource, you can consistently get a sweet reduction out of this chest. Um, Flying Dragon, probably one of the coolest weapons in the game. Chance on, chance on hit to double your attack speed when attacking. This is an awesome mechanic. It's not, it's, it works across the board for so many builds. And it's really powerful, really fun, all around great item. I mean, the list goes on. I could show you a bunch of items and I could just ramble on for ages. But the point is, these new sets are not making the game more fun. They are actually removing the fun by removing all the choice. Instead of having to think about, you know, all of the possibilities that you could run, and now just instantly locks that slot off. All right, well, I have to use this, have to use that, have to use this. And then you're left with a couple slots to work with. I mean, the cube is definitely a step in the right direction and it does open a lot of possibilities and on top of that the new litany set they've created um you know this, the no set set is definitely another awesome idea that they've come up with and it's heading in the right direction but i don't know why you know coming up with all these new cool things they've decided to take a step backwards by locking off all these slots uh, i just don't know it's it's blowing my mind and i just really wanted to get this off my chest guys so blizzard please please can you just go ahead and change the skills at their core instead of adding all this passive damage to these effectively really cool kind of utility items and then just ruining the whole aspect of choice hopefully you guys didn't get too salty from this rant i don't i mean i've never done one of these before but i mean it had to be done boys I had to just get it off my chest because i'm flipping raging and um until the next time guys peace out and have a good day and definitely leave some comments below